Hello, welcome to my Spring Boot Applications video. We're going to build a simple web application using Spring Boot. In order to do that, a, I came up with a task list. So we have only nine steps to go through. First and second steps, which are to install the JDK and Maven, I will not be covering into this video, but you can go to both websites and you find how to install and all the instructions necessary to um, create the proper setup. Okay, uh, let's start then from step three, which is to create the application using Maven. Uh, then next step number four, which is to create the project files for IntelliJ. I'm using IntelliJ, so that's my first option, or if you, you want to use Eclipse, there is also an option to use Eclipse. Then number five is to um, configure our POM file, which is the Maven project file, to have the proper dependencies and having the application uh, good to go. Create a bootstrap main class, which will actually run the application, that's number six. Number seven, we're going to create a new controller which will respond to our request. So some, it's going to be something really simple. Number nine, let's build and run the application. And I'll also talk a little bit about the packaging types. We can package as a jar file, which is the standard way of packaging a Spring Boot application. It's a standalone style, or we can have a traditional war deployment where we would need to have a separate container running the application okay so let's get down to the business let's open a terminal window um, let me go to my projects directory yeah nothing here there is only our task list Pretty cool. Now, first step is to create the project. Let's do this. Okay, Maven has a plugin called Archetype, and it has a functionality to generate the application where we need to specify the base package and the application name, and that's it. Maven will take care of everything else. It will create the proper directories folder and all the basic setup. You can also take a look at the Maven, Maven website, which there is a tutorial part in how to use the basic plugins and how to set up the application from scratch. Yeah, that's it. So, all good. We have your first app directory there. Oh good, we have a source folder and a POM folder, which is the project file. Pretty cool. Next step is to generate my IntelliJ project files. So, MPN idea, idea. That's it. Yeah, I have now my project files. So I can open this project now using IntelliJ which I'm going to do right now. Okay. And that's it. We have here our application on IntelliJ. Yep, we have only one class here. Uh, let me only set up my JDK, which is the JDK I have on my IntelliJ. It's the latest one at the moment. Um, okay, now it's time to create to create the proper configuration inside the POM file. Let's get our POM file here. Yeah, maybe create the standard POM file which holds the project name and a basic dependency for a JUnit. 
Now let's add a parent for our application, which we're going to say, okay, this application will have the Spring Boot Starter parent as a parent. So we're going to inherit all the definitions from the spawn, yeah, which has a bunch of basic configurations, so about how to build the application and all the basic dependencies it needs. Pretty cool. Uh, another configuration we're going to add is the Java version. So we're going to use Java 1.8. Next dependence is a dependence, dependence itself inside the dependencies uh, structure, which is the Spring Boot Starter Web. So this dependence has all the base configuration in order to build or to have an automatic configuration for a web application. Pretty cool. What else? Okay. Another section here is the build dependence. So we are going to say that we have Maven Spring Boot plugin to help to build the application. And the last section here, I'm going to add actually two sections. One for repositories and another one for plugin repositories. So it's only few few extra places where Maven should download its dependencies. That's pretty much it. Um, as I'm using IntelliJ, I have to tell IntelliJ I'm using Maven. So I just point to the pom file. That's an extra. Um, IntelliJ configuration. So if you're using Eclipse, don't have to bother. But if you're using IntelliJ, so just come here and add your POM file. Um, I believe that's it. I think I didn't forget anything. Let's keep going. Okay. Um, before that, let me just 5.1. Just try to build the application to see if everything is fine and everything is under control. Uh, we can do via command line calling mvn package to run the application, download dependencies if we need, and double check if everything is fine. We can basically do the same thing using our IDE. Let's come here, Maven, and rebuild project or build project. Everything should work um, on the same way. So, yep, that's it. Okay, now, yeah, 5.1. Oh, step number six create a bootstrap main class. That's basically uh, the main class which will run the application. So we have a main main class here called app. Um, let me remove this one as well. We don't need this test here. So, yep, no test dependence, but I'll leave the, the directory here. So I'm going to rename the class to be called application. It's more meaningful name rather than app. Another change I'll make is I'm going to add an annotation, Spring Boot application. So I'm telling now that this class should be a Spring Boot application setup class. Let me import. That's it. And I'll change a static void main class to run itself. That's the basic setup we need to make 
um, this class and it is a executable class by Spring Boot. Spring Boot will find this annotation and it will uh, run this class using the public void main method. Okay, we are almost there now. Um, yep, just six left one step. Um, build. It's good to double check if everything is fine. Yeah, that's it. All good. Let's keep going. Uh, let me create now a controller. It's a new class. A controller or hello world controller. It's a hello controller. That seems to be more appropriate for our test. Just another Java class. I will notate with a controller. And I will add a new method. Public string below to return hello world as a string. So remember that it's a it's a controller which will respond to a request. So we need to map that to a URI. Let's use an annotation here. Request mapping and passing where uh, in which URL we should hit in order to get to this method. That's pretty much it. And also add in a response body annotation just to return to the browser whatever we are setting here. So we don't need to set up any specific type. Okay, that's number seven. All good. Uh, number eight, let's build now and run the application. That's the same, let's clean up my screen, same step, Maven package, just to build everything again, and yep, everything is fine. To run the application, java, dash jar, the target directory, then you have our first app jar in there. So, yep. That's basically it. Spring Boot will read the application, will read all the configuration. So our application is up and running. Now, let me open my browser. The browser is here. Localhost 88 slash hello world. That's it. We hit the root folder and we returned hello world. So that's basically it. Um, right now, just the last step I want to go through with you is the different packaging types. Um, if you take a look here, the default packaging type is a jar file where we simply ran as a standalone Java application. But Spring Boot also allows us to run the application as a OR file. So in order to make that configuration, let me kill let me kill my my application here. Yep, in order to do that. We need only to change 
two little things. The first thing is the packaging type. It's going to be war instead of jar. And also change the change to dependencies. From here, uh, yep, you can, can also place them here just after the Spring Boot web applications. So, yeah, not this one. Actually, this one. I'm going to say, okay, Maven, just package as a WAR file and don't package Tomcat with my application. I'll have it running um, inside a container, so I don't need this dependence. And that's basically it, what we need. So just to demonstrate, VN clean, which will clean all the target folder and package, which will rebuild the application. So there we go. We have it here, we just built the war file. Um, I hope you have enjoyed my, my video and stay tuned for the next cool stuff that are coming. Thank you very much.